why should it be me? Katlyn Pierre shares one of the lowest points in her life and career as a federal civil servant. One of them is an employee who came to my office and then she drew a, a monkey on my pad and made sure that I knew it was my, my image and I should be cleaning instead of doing management work. Pierre says the existing mental health supports like a hotline are not enough to help her and other black employees. The budget documents for 2022. Earlier this year, the Liberals committed to a mental health action plan for black employees. Now, it could be on the verge of falling apart. The federal black employee caucus says it's rethinking its involvement. This after senior Treasury board officials allegedly questioned the need for a program designed for and led by black employees. CBC News obtained a letter from the group to the Treasury Board. While short on details, it says, We showed up to support the government of Canada to address anti-black hate within the public service, only to be continuously faced with the crushing weight of it. When I first read this letter, I, it was appalling, shocking, uh, it was hurtful. A plaintiff in a proposed class action lawsuit brought by black federal government employees says he spoke to workers involved. They tell me how sometimes uh, they were left in tears. They've had to turn off the, the camera on the team's meeting and just break down in tears because of the anti-black racism that they are facing uh, from the senior leaders at, at the Treasury Board. In a statement, the Treasury Board says it cannot comment about the mental health program for federal black employees because it's before cabinet. But it says the federal government is committed to inclusion and diversity. David Thurton, CBC News, Ottawa.